welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. <music> until about two editing and uploading day 14. Um, the first time I tried to upload, the whole video didn't upload, so I started all over again. Um, I was going to send it live right away, but then that didn't make sense. So I'm actually gonna wait till around 8 a.m. to just click public and um, send it to you. So you'll get two Vlogmas videos today. Um, but I'm still counting that I technically have not missed. So expect two, one at 8 a.m. today and then one at the end of today uh, for day 15. Today is my last day of work until January 2nd. Um, taking a lot of time off to refresh, recoup, and re-energize. Now I just have to get ready and head off to work. And I think today's gonna be a short day. So hopefully I see you sooner than later. Hey everyone, um, it is Friday at one o'clock and I am on my way home. I have made it through the part of Vlogmas where I'm working my 13 hour day and still getting the videos up. And that is now finito. Um, now the only work I have is Vlogmas every single day and I am so, I'm just feeling really good because of how much attention the channel has received and how much love it has received. So um, Miss Gold Girl, if you guys know Marnie, uh, she gave me the most amazing comment on my channel um, and just her support is kind of amazing because she's such a great YouTuber. Then I have Christina Brawley's support this these last couple weeks, and Haley Cairo, and Jen Ross from Pretty Neat Living. All the people who have like paved the way for me, and have inspired me, and have just been such incredible supports. There is enough room at the table for everyone. And what it comes down to is, are you authentic? Does your content resonate with people? And can you build a community and connect? I think it speaks so much of who they are as human beings and I don't know, I'm just so humbled and even more inspired and encouraged and motivated to see what I can create with this channel. It's just, I'm just so happy. Um, but yeah, Marnie's comment was just so incredibly touching and I just... I don't know. It's just too cool for words. I do want to thank all of you because it has been your constant recommending of the channel to other YouTubers and to friends and family and tagging me over on Instagram and shouting me out over on Instagram and putting me in part of your Instagram stories. All of these moves you're making is creating this ripple effect of kindness. And people are talking about putting my tagline on their refrigerator so their teenagers see it. Um, that they're putting it at the end of their work email signatures so that that is the last thing people read every day. All these moves that we're making create ripples and those ripples grow and grow and grow. And when you impact one person, they may take it and impact two people and then it just multiplies from there. So we have a movement that we can really make take off if we stay true and stay committed. And I'll tell you, I am so committed. I am so stinking committed um, and just inspired and motivated and I can't think of a better way to start my 
winter respite. Guess what? I am home with you for many, many days. I'm home with you for many, many days. Oh my goodness. I'm home. I'm home. Go get him. Go get him. Oh my God, I love him with all my heart. He's just the best. I'll get you. Hey. We are going to start attacking the kitchen windows with my DIY. Before I do the DIY, I am gonna go ahead and build all these so they're ready to go. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. So I am all set up to start our window treatment DIY. Let me show you the materials I have and then kind of talk you through the process. So I have six different size pom-poms that still need a little fluffing, some white honeycombs, and then some white snowflakes. The great thing about this is it's not Christmas, it's winter. So no matter what holidays you celebrate, you could totally do this. I have these huge windows above my sink and I have all this space in between them. So coming down behind this molding right here, I'm going to have all those white pieces, all different lengths, but packed really closely together. After I get all that done, I'm gonna go in with some twinkling lights. So let me go ahead and start doing this. I have my Spotify Christmas playlist playing. They should follow it, right? It's so good. Also, I'll leave all these materials that I ordered off of Amazon linked below as well. Let's go ahead and get the decorating started. I just finished the DIY with all those things I bought off of Amazon and let's see how it turned out. Ready for it? Ready for it? Look at it. Oh my gosh. I love it. Who knew paper could have such a big impact? Now let me take you to the not so pretty side. So when you look up, I ended up taking away the painter's tape because they were so light and just used scotch tape. That way you can't see it. What I did is hung everything at different lengths and at different depths. That way I got like a ton of dimension to it and really tried to scatter the sizes. Then what I did from both the left and the right hand side was took one set of the twinkle lights and just wove and dropped them through in different sections and just kept working with them really patiently. And what's really nice is you can use and twist the wire of the twinkle lights to get your paper products to kind of stay still and in the position where you want them. So that is how it turned out. In total, I spent around $48, I believe. The twinkle lights were 17 of that. I bought really, really good ones. You could clearly find much cheaper ones, but I found ones on remotes that had like seven or eight different settings. I'm going to leave linked 
every single product I used to get this effect. Over buy for the space because the key is to have a bunch to layer at different depths. If you don't have enough, it will just look really sporadic and it won't give it that high impact or like high end look. It'll just look like chintzy things hanging. Um, so yeah, over buy and then return what you don't use. I'm really, really happy with it. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm ah! so excited. The next thing I have to do is I need to order groceries and have them delivered. We're going to go ahead and hop on Instacart. I'm gonna get some groceries ordered and then I'll catch up with you in a little bit. He'll catch up with you too. Right, Bubba's? Right? Right? You good boy. When our groceries come, you will have to go in the garage. Look at me. Look, uh, no. You'll have to go in the garage because you are not nice when people knock on the door. You are not nice when people knock on the door. Advent calendar time for day 15. Front and center, Chinese mint relaxing serum. And the door says, goodbye holiday stress, massage your cares away with this rituals relaxing serum. Day 15 of David's Teas, raspberry cream pie. Oh, a soap, Pomelo Paradise soap. One thing I wish they did was put the notes right on the bottle. We'll smell this in a minute. Let's go ahead and open our Lush box. I'm gonna randomly pull out one thing and it is called Twilight Shower Gel. It's soothing lavender and a touch of sweetness. The perfect blend to send you off to dreamland, smelling divine. All right, so advent calendars opened. DIY done. And I've only been home for three hours. Um, I'm so thrilled. Oh my gosh, just look at that. Just look how pretty it is. <sighs> That's insane. I can't believe. I just can't get over it. Just look at that. Oh! My groceries are on the way. Um, and then we will get them put away. And I'm probably gonna pull out my book that I've been reading, which is Mr. Dickens and His Carol. And I'm gonna probably read a little bit before I start dinner and Stephen heads home. It, I feel like a different human being. The fact that like, been home since like one o'clock. It's just crazy. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Great. How are you today? No problem. Great. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great one. So my groceries are here. They just arrived. Groceries are put away and I'm not sure what Steven wants to have tonight. So I'm gonna not cook anything until he gets home and then I'll let him decide. All right, I am going to do some editing so I can get a little ahead and I'll see you guys later. We just finished up dinner and Steven is getting ready to take Bubba's for a walk. Steven has not electrocuted himself today, so he's winning. Sorry. I am going to make that amazing hot chocolate tea. Some of you asked what the brand is. It is Pressed It and it's Earl Grey hot chocolate. And I'm also going to show you my hot chocolate maker that I picked up at Williams Sonoma. It is by Breville, and what you have is this little disc, and you just set that on, and then we're gonna fill it up with some milk. Snap on the lid. It's already on a hot chocolate button. It also does cappuccino, and it also does latte. I'm just gonna hit power because it's already ready to go. It'll start spinning the milk. And I usually let mine, I usually let mine get started before I add the hot chocolate. 
That way it gets a little warmer to melt the chunks. And I'm going to add I am going to end the vlog there, my friends. Um, we're going to just chill out tonight, probably work on our puzzle, and I'll leave it like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. It is the season of giving. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, bye bye No, I can't wait for the weekend. Waking up next to you. We'll be sharing our secrets. Dreams come true Let's have a toast for the lovers